I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. One of the most challenging things to do in Siamese Mahjong is figure out what to do with all those tiles. So I do random pulls to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll roll these dice to determine if we're player one or player two each time. Odd will be player one, even will be player two. I rolled an odd for the first one, so we are going to be player one. The jokers are ones. So we're player one. I will get 28 random tiles. Okay, for these tiles we have Jokers, flowers, east and west, pung of red dragons, a white dragon, cracks with two pair. There's a little run in there, four, five, six. Here we have bams, all singles. Here we have dots with a pair of sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play an addition hand and 369 knitted. I think this is how I would play it. Okay, we have flowers ready to Kong. We have seven, five, 12 in one suit, but we also have a mixed suit option, seven, five, 12. We have no twos, but this would allow us to use the flowers and the pair. Then down here, three, six, nine knitted. This would be the third hand down under three, six, nine. And I would hold these for options. If I'm playing a particular category and we have lots of discards, I have a plan B. Here there are no gaps though, but really light with these tiles and we need to Kong. We could use jokers for those though. This would be joker bait, probably for this hand down here because we need help with the 3-9. There, there is a slight potential for east and west with evens, but we could use either sixes or fours, but only one pair in each. So I think I would rather do an addition hand since we have ones. Addition, three, six, nine, joker bait discards, gather. One thing we could do, if addition doesn't come in, we could play five, seven, nine. This would be the pair, just in case addition doesn't come in. Five, seven, nine, third hand down on the right. I rolled a 10, that's an even number, so we're gonna be player two, non-dealer. 
27 tiles. Look at all those cracks. So we have two flowers, news with a pair, white dragons. We have lots of cracks. Seven, eight, nine, two pair. Here we have a joker and dots, all singles, and a few bams, odds. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would go for the big year hand, the last hand under singles and pairs. Eleven tiles for the big year hand. Then I would probably try for something with winds and dragons, maybe east and west with eights. We would need flowers, so I'd probably discard these, but I would hold them in case the eights don't come in and we don't get flowers. So I would start by discarding those and go for east and west with eights maybe, or news, and then down here, big year hand. I rolled a 10. We're going to be player two. We have jokers, flowers, Almost news, white dragon, lots of cracks, seven, nine pairs, bams with a pair. Then we have two, four, five pairs. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play big odds and consecutive run. Big odds, fourth hand down, four flowers, Kong, pair, Kong, or we could do five, seven, seven, nine. If we did the one suit hand, we could use this for joker bait. Or we could do odds and hold this too. One, three, five, seven, nine. And then maybe use these up here for consecutive run with joker bait. I think I like this better. Two joker bait there. Four, five, dragon, joker bait. One, three, five, seven, nine, really light here but we do have joker bait and then six discards. I would still hold these though, because we could do five, seven, seven, nine and use this as joker bait. These singles here, that's gonna be hard. And the reason why I switched is because we have no one dots. If we played one through five with a gap for the pair of ones, that would be very risky here we have the flowers this would be the fifth hand down we could kong kong pung 
all we need is any one of these tiles in use of these jokers for that particular hand. So I would do big odds or odds, first one, and then consecutive. If the ones came in, or maybe the threes, but primarily the ones, then we could use these down here for five, seven, nine. So I would gather odds and dots, little dots, and discard those. One of the challenges playing Siamese Mahjong is figuring out what to do with all those tiles. Because you have so many to choose from, a lot of times you can actually pick a hand from the onset. Sometimes the hands take a little work to do, but if you can make a plan to use as many tiles as possible, leaving yourself with eight or less discards, you might be able to even win with a simultaneous Mahjong get double value for both hands. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.